Uh, I'm uh, Abhishek Dhar, uh, and, uh, a professor of uh, physics in the in in International Center for Theoretical Sciences uh, in Bangalore. So which, uh, this is the center of uh, the Tata Institute of Fundamental Research, uh, which is based in Mumbai. Uh, so I, uh, I'll talk about the, uh, this project, uh, under, uh, SEFIPRA project that we did. Uh, this is on uh, understanding uh, large deviation properties of uh, system of systems of interacting particles, uh, especially where the in the case where the interactions are long ranged and very strong interactions. So I'll go on to describe the project. So in this uh, project we actually uh, studied the three different uh, sets of uh, set of problems. The first one uh, uh, looks at this, uh, 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 this sort of a problem which is uh, largely motivated by recent experiments on uh, uh, on what are called tra 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 trapped atoms uh, at very cold uh, temperatures. So basically, they are very strongly interacting systems which are placed in uh, sort of traps. And uh, some of the interesting questions are how do they uh, thermalize? Uh, and uh, what is that uh, the, like the equilibrium properties of these uh, strongly interacting systems. So we studied a class of models, uh, uh, it's called the Ritz model, where the interaction, uh, it's a set of particles moving in one dimensions and the interactions are <coughs> uh, sort of li uh, are long ranged and uh, have the form of uh, some uh, power law 1 over r to the power k. So, uh, so there are lots of interesting questions like thermalization and so on. We looked at a few basic questions. Uh, one of them is uh, in equilibrium, what is the density profile of the gas? How does it depend on the various interaction parameters? So uh, we came up with a very nice uh, field theoretic method of solving this problem uh, and which uh, essentially gives us the exact uh, density profile of this interacting gas. Uh, for arbitrary interactions, okay, and what we find is as the, so there is a, the power, the interaction strength, uh, uh, this interaction is of the form one over r to the power k, and what we found is as we change this parameter k, uh, we can actually the density profile undergoes a comp like all sorts of uh, forms and undergoes a transition from a uh, from a form with a peak at the center to a form where which has peaks at the sides. Now this particular model actually for different values of k it captures lots of well known models like the coulomb gas uh, the log gas uh, which is related to random matrices and uh, also one component uh, uh, plasma okay so this is a very general model and uh, so it's nice that we could get this very uh, exact solution so this work was published in uh, FISREV letters uh, and it's already uh, quite uh, well cited so uh, for the same class of model we another question we looked at is uh, what is the st so the, the looking at the density profile was looking at the mean properties of the system uh, then we also looked at questions like fluctuations and one sort of very interesting question is uh, what is the uh, fluctuation of the particle at the end of the at the edge of the system okay so this problem for the log gas is uh, is a very famous problem and uh, uh, it was solved by these people called Tracy and Widom and they found some universal distribution for this uh, end particle statistics. So what we di uh, did in, in our project is to uh, compute this, uh, the pro this distribution for the case of this one component uh, plasma. Okay, so uh, and what we found is that uh, it, 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 it gives, uh, it falls in a different universality class and uh, for this problem we could compute the full distribution, both the mean and also the large deviations. So this also required some uh, highly non-trivial uh, uh, mathematical uh, techniques which we invented uh, for this particular model. So uh, this is uh, uh, the, our main work on strongly correlated uh, systems. The second set of works is on uh, on systems of uh, 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 particles which describe active matter. Okay, so active matter is uh, at a microscopic level. The particles are uh, are sort of like Brownian particles, but then there is some extra ingredient in the uh, which captures the fact that they are active. Uh, so basically, uh, there's a uh, there's some inbuilt motion which is uh, which is which comes which is not thermal. So uh, as a result, I mean, even solving like single particle problems is highly non-trivial. 
and so we studied a uh, large number of uh, uh, different uh, uh, problems of single partic active particles in uh, in uh, in sort of traps okay and for this uh, in both one dimensions and two dimensions and uh, these are systems where which have been realized experimentally and what we uh, could do is actually obtain a uh, number of uh, exact results for this uh, uh, this systems so uh, uh, and again we found like uh, qualitatively very interesting uh, properties of where the distribution steady state distribution shows all kinds of uh, non trivial be behavior as you change some parameters we got some sort of a phase diagram where you see active and passive phases of these particles uh, and uh, again we produced a number of papers i mean i think there are about uh, eight papers coming out in this area and two of these paper, uh, papers are uh, already have more than 100 citations okay so uh, because we i mean what we did was completely uh, uh, like uh, this exact results that we obtained uh, really started a, comp a very new uh, sort of uh, field. So this is the second uh, problem that we looked at. The third problem is uh, uh, related to anomalous heat transport in low dimensional systems. Uh, so what is known is that uh, in uh, one and two dimensional systems, uh, there's this famous law, Fourier's law of heat conduction. So this law is not valid. And what one finds is that uh, the thermal conductivity uh, sort of becomes uh, very large and in fact diverges for uh, macroscopic uh, systems. So uh, we uh, looked at a uh, sort of simple uh, but uh, quite still non-trivial models and we could show that uh, the hydrodynamic description of these uh, systems uh, is described not by diffusion equation but by a fractional diffusion equation okay so this we could uh, derive in a very mathematical and rigorous way and uh, we could uh, we uh, did uh, detailed comparisons with microscopic simulations and uh, we uh, showed we have sort of established that this is the right way to describe this anomalous systems uh, and uh, uh, so this uh, resulted in uh, three papers uh, and uh, we also wrote a sort of a review article uh, on this uh, general area of uh, uh, fractional diffusion equations uh, describing uh, systems with anomalous uh, transport. Uh, so in all we had, uh, we published I think around 11 papers out of which there are two FISREV letters and several papers which are now highly uh, cited. So I, I would say it's a very uh, uh, successful uh, uh, collaboration. Okay, so uh, I think the uh, way Sefipra really uh, uh, got in here was of course, uh, uh, so this set of French collaborators, we were already, uh, we had some collaborations, but uh, I mean this really helped us to uh, meet more often and I think this physical interactions between uh, is really important, I mean it uh, speeds up uh, collaborations uh, like uh, speeds up uh, interactions by a huge amount and both ideas get generated and uh, also uh, calculations get completed much faster and so this is really important that uh, uh, physical interactions uh, take place. So this is of course where Sefipra really uh, helped uh, most I think because we could travel to Paris I mean the Sefipra people could come to Bangalore uh, so, uh, in fact, it also we could using the Sefipra uh, budget, we could also attend a couple of conferences in Europe, uh, and which were also very uh, useful in also talking about our work. Uh, and uh, so th that was, of course, the most important aspect. Uh, apart from that, I think uh, using the Sefipra fellowship, we could uh, support uh, a couple of postdocs, uh, both here and in uh, France. Uh, and they also, of course, were in, uh, uh, very deeply involved in the projects. Uh, and uh, then, of course, we could uh, buy uh, equipment like laptops and so on. Uh, so, uh, I think, yeah, so the uh, uh, safety contribution, of course, was uh, really huge. The view of uh, the light on this solution has average or dominant energy price. That is conformally mathematically light price. Okay. And then take the new limit. And in the new world, the zero limit is the Long live India and France friendship.